hi welcome back to my channel and today I have another Cuposket unboxing video for you so today I'm going to be unboxing the Bell Cuposket um, I did have this well this Cuposket but it ended up being a fake one so I actually let my daughter play with it and she broke the arms off it so I decided I did really want um, a real one of this figure so I managed to find one on Amazon. I've been looking for one for ages and couldn't find one and all of a sudden there seemed to be one on Amazon. Um, so if it is still available I will link it down below for you because it was only £20 which I think is a really good price for it. So anyway let's take a look at the box. So here is the box. This is the front of the box and the front you can see a lovely full picture of the figure. At the side it has the Brand Presto logo and the Bandai logo. So you know that's how it is a real one because the fake ones don't tend to have these logos on them. Then you hear up at this part of the box you've got the lovely picture of the stained glass window from the movie. And it also has the Disney logo and Beauty and the Beast logo there. Here it says the Cuposket logo and it just says Disney character Belle. So that's the front of the box and if we go around to the side of the box... You can see at the top it says Cuposket. It has three pictures of the figure here showing different parts. So this one sort of shows like her torso and hands. This one shows like a side view of the face. And then this one shows the other side of the figure. It also shows you the different versions of the figure you can get. So you can get version A, which is this one, and version B, which is that one. And then if we look at this side this shows the framed picture of the figure also it has a little picture of a rose here and this actually indicates whether you've got an a or a b figure i've only just figured this out i didn't realize for ages but if you look next to the a and b figures they have a little symbol so the a has a little rose and the b has a mirror so whichever symbol you have on the front here is which um, one you've got so we have a little rose so it is a version a figure and then just at the bottom here it says Q Posket Disney character Bell and then on the other side of the box it's just got a lovely side view of the figure and it says Disney Beauty and the Beast Q Posket Disney character Bell and then if we look at the bottom of the box it has all the information on it here and I actually think yeah this is actually a European version I think of a Cuposket because usually if there's a Japanese version it in this would be in Japanese and it have a sticker over it um, but this looks like it is one that has been released for the um, international market not necessarily EU but it just has all EU countries on there so yeah that is the bottom and then on the top you just got a t um, another view of the figure's face and then here it says Disney Beauty and the Beast Cuposket Disney character Belle. Okay, so let's get into her and see what she looks like. I've got my scissors ready. Let's cut this cell tape. So I'm interested to see what the difference is between this one and the fake one. If you can tell, in fact, I need to find where the fake one is so I can compare. I'm not quite sure where she's gone. My daughter was playing with her yesterday, so if I can find her, I will show you what the fake one looks like. So this is the box. As with all key poskets, she comes in three parts. You've got the stand, the body, and the head. The head in this one seems to be wrapped in bubble wrap, which I think is what they do with the European or the uh, international versions. The Japan ones don't tend to have the head wrapped in um, a bubble wrap, or from the ones I have, they haven't anyway. There we go. I'm just going to cut the back open now and get each piece out, and then we'll cut them individually. <clears throat>
Okay, so first of all, let's look at the stand. So it's your standard black Kuposki stand. It's got the Kuposki logo here. It's got the patterns around the edge. However, this one doesn't have any holes in, so the figure obviously just sits on this stand. doesn't need to be pushed in or anything. And then on the back, it has copyright Disney Bandai Spirits made in China. I guess so that is the stand. So let's have a look at the body. So there we go. She's wearing her lovely yellow dress and it has these gold detailings here. Her bodice is also gold. And she's wearing these lovely yellow gloves. And then there is the back. And if we look underneath the dress, you see she's got this massive underskirt and she's got two little feet just poking out there. And um, let's see, is there any flaws? I actually can't think there's any flaws on this one, I can tell. Also, if you look here, it has the copyright logo there. It says, Copyright Disney BSP China. So the fake ones don't have that. Yeah, I can't see any real flaws on her. She looks pretty good. Okay, so let's look at the head now. Okay, so here is Belle's head. She looks really pretty. She's got gorgeous brown eyes. She's got like a pale pink lip. She's got gold little pearl earrings in. And yeah, she looks really pretty. She has her hair in this bun with a little yellow ribbon around it. And I don't think you can see any flaws on her. her. Eyes look good. Don't see any marks on her face. I don't see any marks on her hair. So no, she looks she looks really really good. So let's put her together now. Just gonna pop her head on first. There we go. And then she should just sit on top of the stand, like that. There we go. She is very pretty and she does look a lot better than the fake one. The fake one that I had didn't sit on the stand, it was really, really wobbly. This one sits on the stand perfectly. Okay, so I'll just show you her from all angles. So this is her from the front. Side. back the other side and back to the front so now I'll just give you a closer look at her
Okay, so I just wanted to compare um, the real version to the fake version. So this is the fake version. Now she has lost her arm. She did originally have arms, but my little, my daughter broke them off. So they were similar to this, but they weren't as detailed. They didn't look as good as these arms. But as you can see, this one seems to be a little bit shorter than this one. Also, she wobbles on her stand, whereas this one doesn't wobble. She wobbles because her feet are too big. Let's see, let's focus, there we go. That's what she looks like on the bottom, and that's what she looks like on the bottom. I also think the dress, compare that, the dress is bigger on that one than this one. So the fake ones do seem to be smaller and also the gold and the dress isn't as dark on the fake one. The colour of this is much darker than this one. The gold on here is much darker. This just seems better made. Also the face looks different as well. And the hair doesn't look as nice. And this one looks a lot more plasticky. It's all shiny plastic. This one isn't as shiny. So yeah, this you can definitely tell the difference, I think. Quite easily between the two. Obviously the main thing is this one wobbles all over the place and this one doesn't. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the difference between the real one and the fake one. I'm now going to put her on my Beauty and the Beast shelf and show you where she's going to go. Okay, so this is my Beauty and the Beast shelf. I actually have two. I've got this one as well. But I think she's going to go on here. So I'm thinking she could go here and I've pushed this one to the back. So I'm just going to move stuff around and then show you where she's going to go. Okay, so there you go. I have put it on my shelf now. I think she looks really nice up there. Much better than when I had the fake one. She just looks so much nicer. You could definitely tell the other one was a fake so yeah, there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this little unboxing video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.